sleeping is overrated anyway. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 scariest horror movie ending scenes. For this list, we're taking a look at the most frightening final scenes from horror films that scared the pants off of us just before the credits rolled. And just to be clear, the films mentioned don't necessarily have to be great from start to finish. They just have to have worthy, spine-chilling endings. Oh, and a huge spoiler alert. Number 10. Mulholland Drive David Lynch movies have a tendency to send viewers on a psychological journey, and Mulholland Drive is no exception. At its heart, it's about a woman who suffers from amnesia after a car crash and tries to piece together her life. Simple, right? But the journey she goes on is anything but. <laughs> After an hour and a half of being dragged through the emotional ringer, with flashbacks, time shifts, and confusing dream sequences, Naomi Watts' character finds herself tortured by voices and hallucinations. Ultimately, it becomes too much for her, and she shoots herself in the head. A fittingly chaotic and shocking end to a surreal movie, the final moments pack a huge emotional punch. Silencio. Number 9. The Lighthouse the most recent release on today's list, The Lighthouse shows us that Robert Eggers' 2015 masterpiece The Witch was no fluke. This director is a seriously talented storyteller. Read the synopsis and The Lighthouse may sound a little thin on the ground. It's about two lighthouse keepers and the agony of the isolated time they spend together. Now look at you, crying. Boo, boo, what you gonna do? But the veiled meanings behind many of the scenes and the way in which suspense is built make the final scene all the more satisfying. Climbing the winding steps of the lighthouse, Robert Pattinson's character experiences some sort of significant existential moment before tumbling down into oblivion. Of course, there are many potential interpretations, but that final gruesome shot alone deserves a tip of the hat. Number 8. Invasion of the Body Snatchers A classic case of the remake being just as good if not better than the original, 1978's Invasion of the Body Snatchers is a bona fide horror classic. Something is missing. What? Emotion, feelings, he's just not the same person. With a bunch of alien pods duplicating human forms and invading Earth, nobody is to be trusted. And throughout the entire movie, we are constantly analyzing a character's body language to see if they might be one of them. Thankfully, we can trust our protagonists Matthew and Nancy, or so it would seem. As the movie comes to a close, Nancy approaches Matthew, only to be greeted by the trademark point and shriek of a pod. Turns out Matthew's become one of them, letting out a noise that will live forever in the nightmare bank. <laughs> Number 7. Videodrome One of the most famous body horror movies of all time. From genre master David Cronenberg, Videodrome lures you in with its intriguing imagery, and then subsequently makes you feel sick. The story follows the CEO of a TV channel who becomes obsessed with a mysterious and murderous broadcast called Videodrome. Max, Videodrome is something for you to leave alone. It is definitely not for public consumption. <laughs> Ultimately, this force of evil can only be defeated by, quote, leaving the old flesh. And so, James Woods' Max Wren is forced to shoot himself in the head. The scene itself is pretty horrific, so we can't show it in its entirety here, but the cult-like sacrificial circumstances are what make it so iconically creepy. Long with the new flesh. Number 6. Don't Look Now We're not going to pretend to completely understand this movie. It is a Nicholas Rogue picture, after all. But there's no denying that its climactic death, and the foreshadowing that leads to it, will leave even the most seasoned moviegoer uneasy. Quick, quick, quick. La Barca. Quick. No, 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 La Barca. Espera me. Espera me. Searching for a sense of acceptance after his daughter's death, John Baxter becomes haunted by strange imagery around Venice. Running through the winding streets, his journey comes to an abrupt end after he corners a figure he believes is a child. <laughs> I'm a friend. I won't hurt you. It's not. It's a dwarf with a meat cleaver. Wait, wait. 
This hotly debated scene has been called everything from genius to stupid. But one thing's for sure, it is scary, memorable, and unnervingly ambiguous. Number 5. Friday the 13th This legendary slasher flick made summer camps grade A nightmare fuel. Taking the classic formula of teenagers getting frisky with each other one minute and then running for their lives the next, the movie helped spawn a massive franchise spearheaded by the hockey mask wearing killer Jason Voorhees. But in reality, Jason doesn't appear until the end of the first film, and this moment is all the more impactful for it. The scene sees the movie's leading lady Alice peacefully floating on Crystal Lake before being pulled to the depths by the corpse of Jason Voorhees in one of cinema's most memorable jump scares. <laughs> Seriously, this movie straight up ruined lakes, camping, and the name Jason in one fell swoop. Number 4. A Nightmare on Elm Street Ah uh, yes, a horror villain not even your dreams can protect you from. The idea that a clawed psychopath could haunt your dreams and kill you is a pretty terrifying one. But the notion that said psycho can never really be killed is what'll really haunt you in your dreams. I know you're there, Freddy. Similar to the aforementioned Friday the 13th, A Nightmare on Elm Street lulls us into a false sense of security with a happy ending. Before the tide shifts and we're forced to lean forward and pay attention for one final scare. Oh, I feel like a million bucks. They say you've bottomed out when you can't remember the night before. Believing the horrifying Freddy Krueger is gone, Nancy waves goodbye to her mom before her car, now sporting Freddy's iconic colors, locks her in, and her mother is violently dragged through the window. Wow. Number 3. Hereditary As with other occult-based movies, Hereditary features enough subtle symbols, references, and secrets to make your head spin even after multiple viewings. <laughs> Centering on a family who's targeted by a hellish cult, this Ari Aster flick sees death and mystery begin to surround them. The cult's ultimate goal is to use the 16-year-old Peter as a vessel for their demon leader Payman. Pretty heavy stuff. <laughs> After a series of freakishly strange deaths, the cult eventually gets their wish, as Peter ascends to the treehouse and is greeted by headless worshipping disciples. He is crowned as Payman, and the cult rejoices. Right, that's enough on Hereditary for now. You are Payman, one of the eight kings of hell. Number 2. Carrie a movie about loneliness, adolescence, religion, and friendship, or lack thereof, Carrie will be relatable to many, though its ending is anything but. Sure, maybe you fantasized about getting even with a high school bully using newly developed telekinetic powers, but this gets real ugly real fast. After discovering her abilities, the bullied Carrie unleashes hell on her fellow students and ultimately burns herself and her mother alive. Following the chaos, Sue, the only survivor of Carrie's high school onslaught, visits her decimated home, only to be visited once again by the teen. Don't worry, it was only a dream. By today's standards, it may be a predictable jump scare but it still remains one of the most satisfying. Question for you guys. What's a scarier way to finish a horror movie? With like a definitive ending or with an unknown, foreboding, unsolved mystery? Our number one falls into the latter camp, so let's see some honorable mentions and then we'll find out what we've chosen as the scariest horror movie ending scene. Game over.
continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Blair Witch Project It's easy to turn your nose up at it now what with movies like Paranormal Activity being commonplace these days, but back in 1999, found footage horror movies weren't really a thing, and The Blair Witch Project is credited with popularizing the format. Come up here quick, I need to use the CP! At the time of its release, people didn't know whether the film was a work of fiction or genuine found footage, and that made the ending all the more heart-stopping. In true found footage fashion, the conclusion isn't polished. Far from it. I'm scared to close my eyes. <laughs> The students enter a house while they're in the woods and are swiftly picked off one by one by something or someone. All we get is shaky footage and screaming. We fear what we do not know, and that's why this takes the top spot. <coughs> do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.